Hello race fans and welcome back to another Helix Cloud Games live stream. This Thursday, you're joining myself, Chris, on the starting grid, alongside the man of many pixels, the four wheels, the bumper, the roof, and the exhaust himself, Mr. Richie. Oh, I'm going to crash a lot tonight, aren't I? <laughs> crash and burn, crash and burn, as we usually do on this channel when it comes to racing games. We've tried Grid, Richie, we've tried MotoGP, we've tried Formula 1, maybe Dirt 5 is our preferred poison yeah. of choice but yes consistency is key in racing games unfortunately consistent consistently bad consistently bad will only get you so far but from what i've played so far of dirt 5 it's it's a little bit more up my street in terms of the arcadiness so you can crash into things you can spin out you can drift a little bit we'll see how we do uh, but we are here of course to play dirt 5 one of your stadia pro games for the month of november if you are subscribed to stadia pro just like you should also be subscribed to helix cloud games right here on youtube we bring you a weekly stadia podcast rounding up all of your gaming and stadia news and we're going to do our absolute best to round everything up even though they're talking to us less every single fortnight instead of every single week now we'll do our best to bring you that episode every monday available right here on youtube.com forward slash helix cloud games and of course on your podcast preference of choice up there in the digital cloud do give the video a like if you haven't done so already share it with your friends and share it with other stadia players of course because we want as many people as we can get into this race shout out to everyone in the chat so far i can see two bags in there kumna's in there dave's here for race elysium's in there as well simon thank you for stopping by ashley's there jin alex and richie of course is there too just to kick start things off here we are I don't know why we're in my garage, Richie, but we're sat in my garage. Garage. Do you say garage or garage? Well, I'll say it correctly, so it's garage. <laughs> good answer, good answer. Uh, I don't actually have a garage anymore. I, ch I converted yeah. it into a games room, so there we go. My, my house just didn't come with one. Didn't come off. with one. Is, are you sure it's not just out the back somewhere? If just someone give you the keys and you've not looked? I, I, I think I would have noticed... There's so, I guarantee you there's people out there who don't realise they have that on the side of the house. They think it belongs to the neighbour or something and no one clarified I, when they moved in. I live in the mid-terrace in an estate where there's no external garages. Well, you never know. I'm might, fairly confident I don't have It might one. be an underground garage. It might be an underground yeah. garage. Uh, of course, Dirt 5, Richie. We've both done the tutorial. None of this Riders Republic shit where we're going to spend an hour burning our live stream on a tutorial. We are here to play Dirt 5. If you're in the chat, just like Jonathan and YT Bert or 65 have just joined, welcome. If you want to get in on our online races today, we can start a server now because I did the tutorial, folks. Yeah. And so did Richie. Yeah, if you didn't realise he's having a slight dig out at the Riders Republic where we had to play <laughs> for an hour before we could actually start playing with other people. It, it did take some time. It did take some time. Um, um, and Jonathan, we will be sending invites out fairly soon. So if you haven't already, add Helix Cloud on Stadia and keep an eye on chat for I will invite. Drop a link. It certainly is. Uh, it does say two of it, so we can have up to eight people. If you're not familiar with our live streams we do here on a Thursday night, of course, it's all Stadia content. That's what our channel is, 100%. And we want to play with you amazing people every Thursday out there in the Stadia cloud. The best way to do that is definitely add Helix Cloud as a friend on Stadia as a gamer tag so that we can send you direct invites if you are playing on Chromecast at home. Alternatively, Richie, as he's done so dutifully in the chat, dropped in a click to play link right in there so if you want to jump in and you're playing on a browser through your pc click that link and it will invite you to this very such game uh people in the chat i think dave did say i think right at the top he said chuck me a link so i will chuck you a link my friend uh chaotic 57 um, i was asking for one as well cool now as well great there's dave there's cool now playing dirt five Chaotic57, thank you for the friend request. I'll drop you an invite too. There we go, right at the top, Richie. See there's someone who's got a name that drops right at the top of my friend list. These damn R people out there. Vinimans as well. You might be at the opposite end of the uh, of the friend list. <laughs> I don't help things by usually have like privacy features switched on. So like I think it doesn't usually display what game I'm actually playing. That's <laughs> true. That's true. Uh, Ilsium, I see you in the chat as well. Did I go past you? Did I go past you? Can't see. Yes, I did. My bad. And 
Finnemans, there we go. There's so many people in the chat. Jin's in there as well. Right, we've got seven. Richie already. Is there one space? Why is one you choose better? Think, yeah, oh, it's just taken. There we go. Just like that. Uh, and of course, we do things fairly here. So once you've done a race or two, we'll, uh, you amazing people in the chat, of course, you like to drop out. Or you might not like to drop out, but you, you kindly drop out to let other people play. So if you haven't got into the game this time, blame it on Codemasters and AA for not implementing a wider multiplayer uh, in the game. But alternatively, just hang fire a little bit. Enjoy the race. Get a beer, get a hot dog, Richie. That's what people do when they go to the races. Yeah, I'm not sure you can blame this one on EA, although EA now own Code Masters. <laughs> they didn't when the game came out. So That is true. That is true. A rare chance to actually defend EA right there. Right. Event set. I love the colours in this game, by the way. Really popping yeah. off screen going for this. Uh, right. You've done one race, I believe, Richie. Yeah. I've done the Fast Four, and they do different style races. I quite like it. So let's have a look at our location. Would you like to go to... Brazil, China, Greece, Italy, Morocco, Norway, Nepal, South Africa, Arizona, or Roosevelt Island? Um, yes, I would. Pick one. Uh, Nepal. Nepal. I've gone straight past it for some reason. Right. Would you like to go to a lake, a lake reserve, an overlook, an overlook in reverse, or a a Gorak Shep run? Um, Chris, I'm just pointing out that he um, clicked the link on his laptop and he joined on the CCU. Um, I wouldn't have expected to jump straight across, but I mean, once your profile's in the game, switching over is just dead simple. And it's been a feature Ooh. since day one. Right. So like, I could switch to my phone like dead quickly if I wanted to. Time. Oh, I love these options. You can pick... You can pick anything. You can pick the weather. You can pick the class. Don't need a Let's speed have... multiplier. As long as it's not raining. That screwed us before. And it, it has. I've gone for a nice sunny day in Nepal. You'll be happy to know. On Chola Lake. So it might be a bit skiddy like the scene from Die Another Day, Richie. Jaguar, Aston yeah. Martin, skidding out there. Don't think we'll have the rockets. Don't think this game has that. Uh, would you like to do three laps or five laps, Richie? Um, Let's go three just for now. Okay. We're made up at the five, depending on how long they are, because I don't really have a good... Bearing. Con yeah, a good idea of how long a lap is. Well, you're about to find out, my friend. I mean, if a lap's 20 minutes, three is like a whole hour for a race. But oh, if it's like a one-minute lap, then it's quite short. Oh, that is nice. Well, That's I'm nice picking the one car. I yeah, have. I too am picking the one car. It's a redden. So it's mine, it's going to be... Although you do have the little my little number I picked. What number did you go for? I went with 17, I think. 17? I went with 89. So at least there's a small, tiny distinguishing feature. I, I actually did initially go with 89, but then I switched to 17. That's a nice car, though, that. Too many headlights on the front. Maybe, yeah. Maybe I could give it that one. Maybe it's really dark where these cars go. We don't <laughs> Maybe know. Maybe just use shit bulbs. <laughs> Maybe. So they just need lots of them. Says the person pre-stream pre begrudged your lights breaking in your house and having done nothing about yeah, it. Well, Here we go. I, it happened Here we today. Go. Like, oh, it's, oh, on, a, it's on a literal ice lake. I'm winning. I'd... I'm crashing. Oh, this is slippy. See, the drift nature just makes this so cool. I'm done. Going to need new tyres. I don't think you'll need new tyres on ice, actually. I'd imagine the, the damage to the, the tread is... Oh, shit. Very little. Oh, no. Kumna out in front. He's got a yellow car. That means he's done extra work. I, I, I was winning, and then I crashed. Yeah, you like said that, those magic yes, words. And I just couldn't, because this track is literally... It's literally an ice lake. To ice. <laughs> yeah, how, how best to test out the... Oh, shit the dynamics of the, the game than to not have any friction whatsoever. But you know what? This makes for a fun race. Oh, sh I went for a handbrake turn on ice. I don't... Have you ever... You, we've, oh, we've, yeah. Richie, we've performed handbrake turns on ice before, right? When we yeah, first... I, I used to have a van. I've done it in a van. I used to have a van. A van? Oh, you remember, you remember yeah, yeah. I, did, I used to call it the Portmobile though. Yeah, you did. Because it was a was it a Citroen? 
Yeah, no, he's a Peugeot partner. Peugeot partner, yeah. If you if you have the time out there, folks, to Google what a Peugeot partner is, what registration plate was it? Oh, I can't remember that now. It'd be, it's, it's it'd be a while back. A while back, yeah. It'll definitely be a, an alphabetized one. Like NREG, VREG, or something like that. It wasn't that bad. It was like a 50 something. Like was it? Yeah, yeah. Oh. I think. I thought it would have predated that. Either way, yes, uh, I remember that. First start driving, go to an empty car park, icy terrain, yeah. and uh, yeah, you well, do some handbrake turns on the ice. Well, the business, the business park I work on um, used to be incredibly oh. quiet. We were one of the first one, first companies to move in there, um, and there's like kind of like a few little tight corners and stuff to get around to the front of the building where the car park is. So I used to drift around it in the winter. As you do. I don't do it now because there's just oh, more, more traffic around the area and, and also it ruins your tyres. Not if it's this slippy. Oh, I am all over the place. This was a very odd, well not an odd choice, but it was an interesting choice for a first race. Oh, I did not see that corner there, neither did Kumna. We're all going for it. I'm battling with Dave for the last. Oh, I mean I'm just, I must just be in I front just, of you. The track's actually quite... I haven't actually looked at the minimap once. I just gauge on what I can see on screen, which probably isn't a good thing to do for a, a race. I just... I, I can't... Seem to, I, I'm just constantly Don't say get, don't say get friction. <laughs> You're on ice. No. Oh, I'm shit. Like, it's, I, I'm either drifting one way or the other. One like, way or the other. <laughs> the other. Oh, I thought I was going to cash him. Uh, ah, almost, almost got you. Ah, well, that's a, definitely a first race choice. Is everyone going to finish? Is everyone going to finish? No. <laughs> now, two races in this race had different cars to everybody else. I feel like that's unfair. One's rock rocking a BMW and we're rocking a Lancia. Either right. way. The game's called Dirt, not Ice. <laughs> No, that, this is the spin-off, this is DLC, this is Ice 5. Yeah. That was fun, that. It was. I oh, just, my car. Oh, I, what have I done to it? The poor thing. It looks better than mine. Oof. I got a reward. Hopefully it's enough to repair my poor car. Okay, dead 5. Great race, everyone. Right. Well done. It was Brazil was at the top of the list, isn't it? So theoretically, that should be the easiest one. Let's see. Well, we yes, let's go Brazil. Christ the uh, the Redeemer. Let's check out this one. Let's go nineties rally. Mix it up a bit. Weather, I'd still like clear weather. Oh, okay, dynamic. Mix it up a little bit. Nah, clear. <laughs> let's get the hang of the game first. And that's it, right? So there's no there's no way you can actually edit the cars. So that's what it is, folks. Race is up. Uh, Venomans is level ninety-three, which Apparent oh goes along. Apparently, there was twelve slots in that in that lab. Yeah, I saw them in there, but it feels like you, it looks like you can only add eight. So I wonder if different platforms maybe have more, yeah. or if you just go maybe online, not a private party. It allows for more people to jump in. Maybe. But we like private parties here. They feel a little yeah. bit more private, intimate. Peugeot 306. Peugeot 306. You love to see it. it takes me it takes me back. Um, which of our friends had a Peugeot 306, Richie? Is it Lewis? Or did he have a Saxo? No, he, he had a Saxo. Th there's that kind of era where they all had the same chassis. You had like a Vauxhall Corsa, yeah. Citroen Saxo, Peugeot 306, Fiat Punto, and they all had the kind of the same under the hood. Yeah. And I had a Nissan Micra. Nissan Micra, right. yeah. I had a Renault Clio. 2001. To be fair, I drive a Fiesta, a Ford Fiesta nowadays, which is basically like that sort of car. Oh, oh, these are some wiggly cars. Oh, and he sneaks in there. Oh, and there's the first corner. Oh, that's going to cost me. Right, where's the track? Where is the track? Can't see the track. Ride the rail, ride the rail, Chris. You know what? Sometimes you feel like when you play the racing game that like you probably do better in real life. 
Uh, no. <laughs> oh, I nearly flipped. Watch out for that corner. Not Kuna. Kuna rocking a Ford Escort. Why is everyone in a Ford Escort and I'm in a tiny little Peugeot? Oh, no! Oh, no! Right, apparently if you go too far off the track, it literally resets oh. you like that. Yeah, I did that. I went for like, it looked like a little che cheeky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was yeah. Like, oh, yeah, I'm going to get that for the corner. That's exactly what I thought. And here we are at the back of the pack now. That's what happens when you try to cheat. <laughs> I wasn't trying to cheat. <laughs> like... I mean, there are no clear markings for the race, so... That's how I it genuinely goes. wasn't trying to cheat. I thought, oh, there's a little cheeky jump around that car. Like... You know what, Richie? This just gives us the challenge to get back into it now. Right. Oh, not great. Yeah, I do feel like I'm a slightly better driver in real life, but I'm also not trying to win races in real life. Yeah. Oh, oh. I appreciate how the race deviates from, like, dirt... To, um, oh, tree! It oh, does no. feel like a proper rally, old fashioned rally stage. Oh, did you do the same as me? I saw you on the map. I saw you go off. Just like, keep carry thought, carry on. Keep going, yeah, keep going. Okay, let's do this. I've got. Oh, too much space. To I'm not setting a good example for our viewers out there. Get the lights on. I well, think I'm I may have broke my lights. Place. Oh, it's not a race with laps either. It's like one of those completionist races. Yeah. So I'm 92% through. I'm not finishing any higher than seven. But I can still beat Richie. There's no, the you, finish you line. you have beat me. Rally okay. raid. If I finish, I'm going to be happy. That's what they all say. Uh, who's there in the chat? Red Fox jumping in too. Thanks for joining us, Red oh, Fox. No, oh, I did this. It's fine. I, was, <laughs> I, I thought I cut just before... Look. Like, I hadn't got over the line yet. Just in time. Just in time. Well done, Kumna, and your Mitsubishi Lancia Evolution. Fast and the too Fast, Too Furious feature. Uh, Chris, in the chat, thanks for joining us as well. Chris, hope you're good. Yeah, that Lancia's too slow. How do we get better cars? Do we need to up our rep? I think I think it's one of them. You probably have to play for the, the campaign mode to get more coins or whatever it is. Dead so to yeah, buy I get new cars. You get XP. You get rep. Mutation. Dead, dead you get dollars. Dead dollars. And you get one smashed up car at the end of it all. Yeah. Right. I feel like we both let ourselves down on that one corner when we tried to cut it, and then I just put us back the back of the pack. I was first. I let myself down on more than one corner. Right, <laughs> folks. I'm gonna go with that one again. Just because I feel like me and Richie are owed, owed our due. I really don't. <laughs> okay. Well, this is that. This is our redemption. Christ, this is the Christ the Redeemer oh. level. Remember? Oh, oh, I've got more cars. What? I can pick an Aston Martin now. Can you? Yes. Uh, oh, now it's on. Now the race I see, is now on. We've got, now this this is a lovely car that's got stupid front headlights that just ruin it, and it's got a tacky number seventeen slapped on. Yeah, it's got like, like a elongated nose for some reason yeah I, I get it you need the head you need the more like for rally stuff you need the better headlights but it just makes a car look ugly cool Jonathan better says better crash than have an ugly car indeed Jonathan in the chat says earn money unlock cars pretty simple and Oscar says hello there hello Oscar it's, it's still a racing game it's tough isn't it it is indeed but look at us in our nice shiny new cars Richie I see you out yeah, in front just immediately ruined the paintwork Oh, almost spun off. Yeah, in real life. Oh, I thought I was going right there as well. I was following you almost. I'm in the air too much. I can't get control. I can't. Oh, I'm off move. left, right, left, right. How am I still in the lead? You know. No, 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 Right, where's that corner at? Where's that corner at? Ooh, that's a slippy one. And yeah, I just completely went off the track twice in a row, and now I'm last forever. <laughs> forever. Oh no, Veneman's and Dave. Oh, that's too. That is way too harsh. That Dave car. in the Peugeot. Very commendable. Oh, 
Div almost drove over the top of me there. Can you break your car? I feel harsh. like I've broke it. Like, can you damage the car to a point where it can't compete? Um. Oh! My engine doesn't sound too great, so I'm wondering if you can actually legit break it. Oh. Slippy. Yeah, I'm just basically... This is like bumper cars at this moment in time. Where's the track? I can't see the track. This is why you set clear weather. Oh. Oh, almost. There's the tunnel. The precious tunnel. I wish the lights would come on in the tunnel. It's so dark, my eyes don't have time to adjust. I literally can't see the road at times. Oh, shh. I, I... Oh, Richie, watch out when you come out of that tunnel. That is a bad immediate corner. But you know what? You know what? Second place. What, you finished? Yes, I have. I've just came out the tunnel. How are you so far behind? Well, the thing is, because it's so incredibly harsh if you go off track, it, it <laughs> like, kills you. I got killed like three times in a row and just lost any position. I love how you describe it as I got killed. <laughs> I, I, don't, <laughs> I didn't have thing. a better word for it. It's like you can't see the track at all. So you miss one corner and, it, and then it just... Mm -hmm. it's, it's a cycle to spare. Sorry. Well done, Venomans, as well. Cleaning up shop. The Rookie. Look at all them in the ponchos. In the rain. There's my beaten up car. Let's see what rep I get for that. Some XP. Beautiful. Poor alloys. The poor alloys. <laughs> Like, you'll see him in the chat apologising for bumping Dave. That's what it's all about. I love how even on the podium, when the car's on display, he has the wiper blades going. <laughs> just like, yeah, it's on display, accept your award. Uh, right, event set up. Richie, let us go. Let's go to Greece. Greece is always sunny. Ooh. Let's see, let's see. Meteora Ruins. Oh, so many choices. I don't know what they mean, but there's so many. It's got off-road. Off-road. Formula off-road. Right, weather. Clear. Time. Afternoon. Oh, what have I done there? Don't need a speed multiplier. Three laps. No. If, can, can we just lower speed a bit? <laughs> it's a matrix. Matrix Let's bullet, bullet for, time for everything. It's not a race. It's a casual drive through the countryside. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a summer's day through ancient Greece. If you notice it's ancient Greece, it's still... Surely it's older now, right? So if it was ancient Greece back then... You get where I'm going with that. Yeah, yeah, I know where you're coming from. But I also understand it's because it was a long time ago. Uh, Unitrix, yeah. thank you for jumping in the chat as well. And apparently this race, we are driving tractors kitted out with some kind of giant paddle wheel uh, wheels. With purple, tr with purple alloys. I've got my stadium mobile in the orange and red. For Ultra Cross with Medusa. Remember fighting Medusa in Assassin's Creed Odyssey, Richie? I do. That was a thing. Goddamn. What is she? A, is she a Gorgonite? Or yeah, is that from Small Gorgon. Soldiers? <laughs> I think she's just a Gorgon. Gorgon. A Gorgonite from Small Soldiers? What are we driving in? Oh, this has got some sh speed behind it, this. Oh, it's yours, Orange. Oh, um, when I was playing the race in the campaign mode, I got to this race. Well, I got to the race where I drive this tractor machine. So I changed it to orange just for stadia colours. And then I actually didn't have time to finish the race. But luckily, it saved my vehicle, so. What you're oh. saying is, you cheated by playing the race before. I haven't done the race, I just did the customization of the car. Although, apparently, making it orange makes it a lot faster for some reason. Because I am. Um, 
putting in some miles away from you guys. Well, I'm not in last at the moment, which is good for me. Oh, look at these bucket bucket wheels are fantastic. Why doesn't every car have bucket wheels? Okay, so the drifting on them isn't so great. But apparently the the grip is... You sometimes right at a corner and you realise you are very slightly in the air so nothing's going to happen. And you're just watching the barrier. You can see the, the wheels turning but nothing's yeah. happening. Oh, I feel like I'm being caught. Veerman's right behind me. Come on, bucket wheels. Go, go, go. Ah, oh, too far. Too much. Damn it, he's catching me. He's catching me, Richie. He's catching me. In fact, everyone's catching me. Being out in front that, was not a good move. That hairpin just did not. Oh my god, just didn't turn. Bucket wheels. Power on. He's going to pit me at the end. I can tell he's going to pit me at the end. Only my luck to be first for like more, all of the race and then the last lap. You'll crash just at the end. I don't say that. I just need this the latency to just not, not drop out on me a little bit. I keep getting this glitch. I don't know where this when I stream. And you get those fractions of a second where it's almost like the game's trying to catch up. Quick, 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 quick. He's right behind me there. Uh, he was oh, happened. air time. Get round, get round. If I can finish him fourth, I'll be happy. You're in fourth? Yeah. we in fourth most of the rest. Oh, but he's not first. Cha-ching! Tractomobile is my style. Who knew? Who knew? Uh, for anyone wondering why it goes deadly silent between races, <laughs> it's because we turn... We, we, we no, no, not us talking, the, the game itself, because we turn off licensed music because this game is full of it. Which I love it for, but at the same time, you can't you can't stream it without being struck down by the copyright gods. Um, 10.30 media in the chat. Hey, fellas, nice job setting this up. Thanks so much. Always fun to game with our favorite creators. Well, thank you. Thank you. And thank you for jumping in. You're welcome. Uh, we'll have some more slots uh, open up in just a short while. I think we'll do another race or two, and then we'll open the floor to some extra entrance. That was fun, that one. I did not expect to enjoy driving a tractor with shovel wheels oh, as I much totally as I did. Expected. I think driving one of them would be great fun in real life. Oh, yeah, you could imagine it on a beach, almost like tearing the up is, the sand like it was nothing. Because it looks like it was designed with a ruler, you wouldn't care if you just, like, smashed <laughs> it into stuff. It's not like the Aston Martin where it's like someone sp spent ages getting mm. the curves just Ooh. right so it looks absolutely beautiful. Yeah. Like, it's not a work of art. This is just a fucking machine. Yeah, this Yeah, this is one thing. Like, it's basically block rectangle, block square, engine inside, four wheels, go. <laughs> yeah. Done. Uh, right, Richie, where would you fancy travelling in the world next? Um, Morocco. Morocco with the scorpions. Um, I was tempted by Norway, but I, I'm, you're on the risk of it being snowy again. That is true. And what vehicle class would you like for this one? What haven't we done? Super Something light. We haven't done yet. Super. Let's go super light. Light. Super. We're gonna keep changing it up, I reckon, as we go. Yeah, why not? We'll we'll get a good uh, good event in everywhere. I love, by the way, in the menu. If you jump between your menus, that little like it has like a little static animation that happens. I like it. I appreciate it. I appreciate the artistic choice. Probably not good on the eyes, but... Oh, so we're in some buggies. Oh, it's like a June buggy. Mm. Any interest in seeing June? Dune? The new movie? Uh, yeah, a bit. Uh, I mean, I'm not a massive cinema guy, but I'm happy to go see it. 
Yeah, I've heard mixed things. I've heard good and bad. I know it's. I think it's definitely confirmed from. I think it's Lionsgate who are the pub producers of it. I think they've confirmed it's definitely getting a sequel, which makes me more inclined I've, to go see this one because it's part of a. I've a only really story. heard good things to be honest. Hmm. Let us know in the chat if you've seen the movie Dune. Yeah. How is it? Would you recommend it? We should go this weekend. We could. We could. But I haven't still. I still haven't seen Bond yet. And I, I want to prioritise Bond. Is Bond still in the cinema? It has Bond's to in be. cinema will go this weekend. Um, Bond, and I haven't seen uh, Venom 2 yet either, which is, is lesser on my priorities. But... <laughs> I just don't care about that in the slightest. Venom 1 was terrible. Oh! I got knocked. Oh, this is a big circle. Oh, the drift, very important. <laughs> that was a decent crash. Oh, it spun out. Oh, is it a proper Citroen? Have you ever spun out when game? you tr have you ever spun out when you just tried to get back? Yes, on the track? like oversteer, like overcorrect. Yeah, oh no! Just, Don't hit like, the tires. The tires. Things I get why it's in there, but it's just so annoying because you're already in a bad situation, and now it's yeah, just really once you've lost it, it's it's gone. And then you just didn't last. Look, yeah, because you didn't last. You tried to play it too aggressively. Indeed. Uh, the tyres, by the way, are not your friend when you crash into them. They stop you almost dead. I thought you meant the tyres in my car, not my friends. I no, no, they, they are very much your friend. They get you around <laughs> no, actively. Much. Oh, that was a, almost a perfect one. Oh! This is Sandy. Yeah, there's someone out there in a proper classic... Is it a VW? Doom Buggy. Uh, I used to have a game on the PC when I was a kid, which we used the a joystick controller to steer with. It was like something buggy, beach buggy racing, but it was all VW Beatles. It had a cracking theme tune, from what I remember. Like Lego, can you remember Lego Kart Racers as well, Richie? Yes. Did you ever have that? That was a good game. There should be more kart racers, and Lego are missing out. They're focusing too much on like the Star there's, Wars games. There's loads of kart racers out there. But most of them are just very cheap cash-ins mm -hmm. on, like, crap kids and TV shows. Oh, you'd love Nickelodeon kart races on Stadia. That one would probably be, actually, one of the better ones of the genre. But, you know, as well, it's just... Oh. You get these lifeless clones, like, because... It's a kid's game, let's make it a Mario Kart. Oh, there's a really bad one on PlayStation, which is for um, just for easy trophies. I think it's called Coffin Dodgers. Where it's literally all people in uh, where they use their coffins. Oh no, the water spun me out! Shit, I did not expect that. Um, they use their coffins to make soapbox derby cars and then race them, and it's like 15 minute platinum or something. That's not a bad. Uh, that's a that is a bad car racer. I was never interested in like easy platinum games. I I get why people are into it, but it's just like I I'd rather look at my list of trophies and actually have some respect for myself. <laughs> yeah, I uh, I've been I have been there. I don't do it anymore, but yeah, I do have the platinum for my name is Mayo. That's an awesome game, though. It's game of the year, some people. Like, how how are you faring, Richie? I'm in last. Okay. Like by a long way. It says you're seventh on my screen. Yeah, but Dave died. Died? Well, he's in the chat though, but he got to drop out. Ah. Okay. Well, that means I'm second last. That's not good. Come on, Chris. Last lap. You need someone in front to fit. Oh, not the rocks. Put it this way, I just went over the big jump. Oh, those rocks are brutal. I think I broke my car a little bit. Yeah, I messed up when I, I went through the big puddle of water and it, sk it skidded me out almost twice back to back. I tried to correct and then I just did two full donuts practically. I just don't have the feel for racing games at all. Like... Oh, another water again. Oh, wow. I don't think you're allowed to do that in the game. I just did a, almost did a cartwheel. You'll see it on the stream in like a second. Well, I can't because I'm currently driving. It was uh, 
Definitely almost still have to defy the laws of physics. In fact, it did because the car should have flipped and said it, it stayed upright. Oh, that was a perfect corner. That was the best corner I did all race. It just happened to come in the last lap near the end. Whoa, over there. No, oh, everyone's finished. I can feel it. You know when you feel like you just left out on the track to get a bit of practice in? That's, um, what, that's what I'm feeling right now. I feel like I'm not even like left out on the track to get a bit of practice in. I, I feel like I'm left out on the track just to give the, Clean up. <laughs> give the guys who stuck around to, to the end watching just something to laugh at. Yeah. Well, you've got like three seconds to get across this finish line. That's not happening. Uh, <laughs> let's see who have we got who have we got in the chat while we wait uh, Jin says he loved the books uh, and loved the movie as well wonderful I've never read the books highly recommended me either I, they have been recommended to me in the past though uh, Y2Beto says sorry Doom or, or Dune Dune it's hard to say I would say it's June. I would it's say June. June as in San June San June, but I feel like in yeah. our accent, Richie, we use sometimes emphasis the J. Yeah, a bit too much. Yeah. Amer June. Americans would probably say Dune, right? Dune buggy? Like a Dune bug? Dune buggy? I don't know. Uh, either way, uh, Caseball UK, thanks for stopping by, says it's a great movie, but it should have been split into two movies. And it's pronounced June, as in the month. Is it? Do you think it should be split into two movies because it's too long or it's just the pacing's too quick to try to cram too much stuff in? Good question. Because I know some, I've, I've seen some people it's like, it, it said to, like, oh, it's two, like, movies two and a half hours long should be two movies. And it's like, nah, I thought the pacing was fine there. Like, but if it feels like there's like trying to cram too much stuff in, then yeah, I totally get it. Hmm. I've just realised we're missing a missing a player, aren't we? Can I add? Yes. Can I add extra people? So if someone wants to jump in, now is your time. Can they do that? I'm stuck on the event setup screen now. There's no way of it. It doesn't let me go back at all. There's no, there's literally no back button. I can invite people, apparently. I invite. Give drop. Um, So plants a lot in the chat says June is split into two movies. Yeah, I'm sure they confirmed the sequel. But again, knowing nothing about the source material, other than it's Sandy, yeah. and there's lots of uh, famous actors in the movie, I'm not sure where that stands. Uh, Chris says he's just noticed the rank of some of these drivers. Uh, yes, yes, there yeah. are some. Um, Kumar's asking, can you just stay? Do you I can? I don't think you can right now. But if I can, you can. Oh, we've got Doc Berto then. Oh, there cool. We there we go. Terrific. Welcome, Doc Berto. To the race. Yeah. To the race. Uh, Doc Berto, definitely a more seasoned veteran. Like Ilsium. Of course, this game, out, this game came out in like March, so there will be people who have been playing it for some time, and they're probably just thriving off more people. Poker Doc Car. Yeah, I just got that for some reason as well. So it's all about the chameleon car. Just gotta admire it. You played any other pro games yet, Richie, for this month? Uh, no, I'm very much still in my Persona um, trophy hunt. True. And it is now at this point, I am going for the Platinum. I, I've made that decision. Oh, okay, you just committed to that yeah. one, have you? Forget forget my name is Mayo 10 minute Platinum trophies. Yeah. You're going for the 120 hour life commitment trophy. 120 hours? I'm at 145. Oh, <laughs> dude. Dude, we are not winning this race based on these feats that we're driving. Puck it up, puck it up, puck it up. Oh, it's it. It, it literally wait, looks wait, like it's made sketchy. of cardboard. Oh, this has got to be a hairpin. Hairpin! Oh, everyone, wait. use me as a buffer, you bastards! I was in the, I was in the inside, Chris. I was screwed. <laughs> like, oh. I was just pinned to the side there by everyone else. Yeah. Yeah, I did the perfect hairpin, oh, oh, and everyone well, used me. Oh. My internet's being a bit sketchy in the office today. I need oh. to figure it out. There's some cars on this track which look like they should be faster, 
than whatever communist mobile I'm driving. But it's got a bit of kick to it, this uh, this old Fiat does. It might be just like one of them, is it an old, it's just looking like an old car on the outside, but really tricked it out in the size. Maybe. Like... I mean, I'm still in last, well, second last place, but... I do, uh, I do like this track in like some kind of quarry. Yeah, it's cool. It's, it's definitely not got any stable ground, but I kind of, I like the little noise of the gravel pinging up and hitting the bottom of the car. If it was my own car in real life, I'd be devastatingly worried about it being just eaten from within. Oh god, yeah. Just every little chip of gravel you can hear pinging up. Oh, it's the long drift. Oh, beautiful. Oh, and there's a jump. There's a jump over the quarry. Woohoo! I'm getting nearly 100 miles an hour. Let's go. It's a shame I lost everyone in the pack so soon in the race. To no fault of my own. Oh, that was beautiful. I can still kind of see them. They're only one corner away, but... Oh no, I did it all. Oh, there, I'm out. That's me done. Sold out. Richie, you are now the hunted. Oh no, you're not. You're still behind me. No, I'm still quite far. Alright, Jin, you are now the hunted. Be aware. I appreciate how much the car gets, uh, <laughs> ironically enough, dirty. Like, the back of my car is like a clear model right now. Like you will be able to take a clear cast of my car after this race. Oh, I'm on your six, Jin. I'm on your six. Ever so. I just did some. I've just did some cornering without crashing. Congratulations. Like several, several in a row. Ah, oh, damn it, damn it. Yeah, I wonder if uh, if anyone in the chat knows does. Damage impact your car's performance? Not in real life, in the game. So I feel I like... Are you sure? Yeah. I always feel like I've lost a little bit of power further into the race. My th throttle has just gone full out. How are you doing back there, Richie? Terribly. I haven't, I haven't even seen your dot appear in the lap in a while. I put this way, I'm about to go over the jump. I'm not that far past the jump. Oh, come on. Oh, I can see dots in the map. Oh. Yes. It's between you and me, Jin. I'm right behind you, friends. Come on, car, come on. No, don't hit the tree. I feel like I commit to handbrake turns far too often because they're cool. I should probably just try normal braking for a change. I think for it's like a U, a U turn or a hairpin, I think it works quite well though. That is the problem. Well, you do lose quite a bit of speed if you get it Yeah, right. I think that's the biggest issue. I think it's one that if you get it right, I think it works, but. Uh, too far. I'm not gaining any ground. I'm kind of just within touching distance and then I throw it away on the next corner and then I get a bit closer and then throw it away. I just screwed it there. Oh no! Yeah, I think I did. That was my chance to catch him there. Nah, he's pulled away again. Hot on the heels. I, I felt like I was making a bit of ground. I had, I had a good run of corners, like, but now I just, I just ruined it. Ah, oh, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, no, I, I didn't even make it. I don't think. I did. I, didn't. I did. Did I, um, not finish. 
you're right, Chris. That car wasn't competitive. The Fiat, isn't it? Actually, all the Fiats came last, bar one. Whereas I think yes. I think what you should do is you should st everyone new beginner should start off with the best car in the game. Yeah. To give you a chance. And all the veterans should start with the super yeah. the, the lesser vehicle. Well, I've got to get me some dirt dollars. Cha-ching. I didn't unlock anything. Didn't lock me. I like that map, though. That race. Track. I, I like the map. I'll give the map credit. No, this is dirty. Uh, Squids in the chat says, lurking for a minute. Enjoy the stream. Thank you, Squids. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, right. Location, location. Let's go check out Norway, Richie. I know you didn't like... Oh, look. <coughs> Norway. Has a track. That's our our stream background. And just because you wanted it, Richie, heavy snow. Yeah. Oh God! Yeah, let's do it. Let's do <laughs> just it. for you, heavy snow. Let's go. And can we have really fast cars? Like, like the sort of thing where you don't you don't drive them as much as hope you don't crash. Oh, I went nineties rally, but I've got the one choice of that damn pair show again. It's horrible paper. <sighs> it's horrible. Horrible paint work. Although the paint work's probably not too bad in a rally situation because it is quite visible. <laughs> Can see thy enemy. Let's see how Peugeot three or six Maxi performs in the Norwegian snow. How how useful are mud flaps? Do you think like in real life? Yeah. Well, even just in the rally situation, do you think they do a lot? I'm not sure actually. They must serve a pair. I'd imagine. Yeah, you'd think you'd maybe want to lose them for added weight, but do they stop? Do mud much. flaps stop the mud caking at the back of the car and like weighing the car down maybe? Well, I was thinking, do they just stop like mud getting into like the axle joints and stuff? Yeah, I'd have thought of that. And then, like, imagine if you're racing for like 30 minutes, the amount of like build up you could have on like the the back part of your car. Like we've all been out after you've had loads of snow and it's like your entire like kind of like wheel arch is just kicked. Yeah. Is that a Ford Ford Escort? Oh, where are we going, guys? Oh, we're going straight in the wall. Oh shit! I, did, I just I wasn't paying attention. It's like a, bit, a <laughs> massive build up of cars, car. and yeah. I'm right at the back. So oh, this Peugeot is slow. Get around, get around. It's all right. Everyone's gonna have a nice little hug when we go into the corner. Is that a BMW again? Yeah, I think uh, we don't have the pace. What's the button for the indicators? <laughs> no idea. Doc and Jin find out there, fighting it out. Come on, Peji, you got this. Oh, far too slow in that corner. I thought it was a short, narrow corner. Everyone's caught me up. Oh, oh Murdoch. Ten completely wrong. Nice nicking in front of there. So this in these games, one mistake just screws you. Yeah, there's no. It's because you're not against AI, so there's no like um, auto boost. You know that brings you back into the race if you're in last spot. Yeah. Oh! Come on, little Peggy, get it back into it. Get back into it. Oh shh! The thing is, when you're in last place, you start to try to play a bit more aggressively, you try and make distance, and that's when you start making more and more mistakes. I think that's my problem. So you're telling me you need to be first out of the gate? Yeah, what I need to do is not be in last place, and I'll be okay. Oh! Someone dock skidded off there. Come on, Cam. Barely 60 mile an hour. Catch up. Imagine doing 80 mile an hour in the snow. Oh, that's not fair. That'd be terrifying. Yeah, my car's just not quick enough. Doc just practically nitrous oxide passed me there. Oh! And then he crashed into me, but somehow I stayed in front with a direct slam. Yeah, yeah. I I feel like we might need to redo this race, Richie, just with 
the, the, the new cars it unlocks. It's like the sheer speed difference. Cars I think every time, maybe when you do the race, it gives you like some more vehicles. I thought it'd be like you have to go to the garage and buy a car situation. Yeah, I thought that. Oh, I got shoved. No. Wow. That's a uh, that's rally fire. Hold down the fort. Is that horrible corner? Which one? <laughs> one of fifty-three. You think the little cars would have an advantage on like tight corners, just because they've got like less space? Yeah, they, they have less car to get around the corner. Like he's pulled away on this straight so much for me; it's unbelievable. Like, what can I do? Like I said, other than get really aggressive going into the corner, but then you you end up throwing yourself out just to make up the extra half mile he's pulled away on the straight. This is one of the reasons why I've never really been that much into racing, like, in general. Just, it seems to matter, the car seems to matter more than the driver sometimes. Tell that Lewis Hamilton. Like, I think the driver's so incredibly talented that literally the, the quality of the car matters more. Which is just not that interesting. When it's the guy with the best car wins most races. Well, I've been driving like an absolute boss for the last two laps, and I'm, the guy in front of me, Doc, is still pulling away. Like he's he's clear. Like he's got so far away from me, and I've not crashed. I've not skidded out in so long, and yet. I got DNA. There it is. So you got Ford Escort Cosworth coming in first, a Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution, a Subaru Impreza. And there's us at the bottom in our pair shows. Yeah, right. <laughs> hmm. Rob in the chat line, stop by Rob, says I'd be in for the next race, no problem. Uh, Chris, uh, is there any way to lock the car choices? Yeah, we had a look at that, Chris. There doesn't seem to be a way to lock the car choices down. But when you go back into a certain race, it seems to unlock more vehicles. So we'll probably just try and return to a few few tracks. Yeah, it's comforting, then you unlock for me. Oh, cool. Okay, so as we cycle through them all, it should become a bit more balanced. But yeah, it's a shame there isn't um, something to set up where you can just uh, add them in. Uh, right, a duff cap hit to win. Rob wants an invite. Yeah, no problem, no problem. Uh, Rob wants an invite. Someone's kindly stepped out. So, thank you for that. I'm going to drop the link back in chat. Uh, Ilsium says he'll drop up uh, his spot as well, so if there is anyone in the chat. Uh, Jordy as well has jumped out. Thank you for that. Pre do do appreciate it. Very kind of you all. And, uh, yeah, we'll get some cycles going. So, uh, two spaces. I think Rob's probably going to take one of those. And then if anyone in the chat, Richie's dropped the link there if you're playing on PC console. Uh, of course, while we do wait for the extra two people to jump in, don't forget you can check out our weekly Stadia podcast, the sounds of Stadia podcast. In fact, we're now up to episode 111, Richie. This weekend we are recording all the ones sponsored by Uno. 111. Yeah. Although we're I thought not... you were going to say like sponsored by Bingo. All the ones. 101. All the ones. 101. It could be, but Bingo. 111, sorry. Don't fork out. 100, yeah, 111, not 101. Uh, we've done 101. We're out the way. Uh, that's a lot of Stadia content out there, folks. We also do a special side quest episode, uh, formerly known as Sounds of Stadia Side Quest, where we actually go off a little bit more on one specific Stadia subject. We did that this week, Richie. Our members, actually, if you click join on the channel below to help support us a little bit more, you also get six days early access for our SideQuest show. Richie, what did we talk about this week on SideQuest? We were talking about Sadie's unique features and going through them one by one and saying what we like about them, what could be done better. So we're talking things like click to play, um, stream connect, all that sort of good stuff. Exactly. So if you're a fan of Stadia, 
and you like all of its unique features. They did a big focus on it last week, and we spoke about it in depth for around about half an hour or so. Our members get it early, but it does always go on free feeds. We don't gear keep anything here at Helix Cloud Games. You will get it eventually. It drops every Friday for those watching on youtube.com forward slash Helix Cloud Games. We also do live streams, let's plays, first looks, and if you are into Stadia gaming, and just gaming in general, talking about things that go on in your life, uh, hit us up on the Discord. Link is in the description of this very video. And there's loads of people constantly chattering. This, this today, Richie, we were talking about remodeling kitchens and how ex uh, kitchen, sorry, bathrooms and how expensive it is to be an adult and get your bathroom done out. Is it worth it? You'll have to join the Discord to find out. Well, if you get a nice bathroom out of it, it probably is in the end of the day. But it could be. It could be. Uh, Jonathan Peters asking for an invite. Uh, right, let's have a look. Uh, Jonathan, what is your gamer tag? And I'll get you added manually if I can do so. We had someone just pop in and immediately leave then. Dude, I'm looking for people playing Still Maddox. Still waiting for Rob to join us as I well. I know, I did send him a second invite. Red Fox is playing Grid. Benamans was in the chat. Jin's still in there. Just noticed a new option in PC. Very cool. Um, who have I got? Dead by Daylight, Kumna, Docs, still here, that's cool. Chaotic 57. Who else we got? Uh, Jonathan, let us know what your gamer tag is. Is it Chaotic 57, Richie? He's the only one in my friends that's playing Dirt who's not in here. Do I risk it? Do I risk it with an invite? Rob, still don't know where you are. Kirk 57 just joined. Okay, so maybe maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Jonathan, let us know chat if that is you. No, he's gone anywhere. In and out. Oh, Rob's in the tutorial. Oh, no. Oh, not it's the quite tutorial. Quick, we can, we, it is. It's one race. Can, it's one race. Yeah. We can vamp. We can talk. We want, uh, of course, a full race here. In fact, um, a special shout out to everybody who did the hashtag caring from the clouds. Incentive, of course, we kickstart the whole thing off right at the beginning of last month. We raised over a thousand pounds for the Alzheimer's Society. Thank you once again to everyone who donated uh, and dropped in the links and showed us some support for that. Uh, and all of the amazing Stadia content creators out there club together every Saturday across the month of October and raised some amazing money. Uh, I can't remember what the full total was, but I'm sure it was around about like the 3k mark or something. It was a lot, it was a lot, yeah. all for a good cause. Uh, shout out to John Scar as well. He uh, pulled together all of the week's worth of extra charity content off the back of ours. Uh, and we do appreciate you all. You're all legends in your own right. Especially those who finished the tutorial for Dirt 5 before asking for an invite to the game. Uh, let's see. Oh, it was Chaotic 57. So you got you managed to get in briefly. I'll send you another direct invite, yeah, my I've friend. Yeah, I've seen him drop in a couple of times, but he hasn't seemed to be... That's what happens. That's what issues. happens. Um, so Richie, tell me tell me about this yeah. persona binge you're on. Um, well, basically, I a few weeks, well, probably about a month or two ago now. I, um, you know, when you're between games and you're just kind of bouncing from one thing to the other, trying to see what takes you. And fancy. you think, what do I want to commit half of my life to? Yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> what it was, I just I don't know. It's just what one night is like. Ah. I, fan I fancy playing like a JRPG. I don't want I don't want to play something. You know, when you just I don't want to play something new. I want to play something. Um, familiar comfort food yeah comfort food mm -hmm. and then it's like I saw, I saw Persona and I was like yeah I'll play that for an hour 145 hours today <laughs> times by 145 well, so <laughs> I um, played through the story I was playing quite quickly through the story because it took me about 110 15 20 hours mm -hmm. to get through the story this time bear in mind my first ever playthrough took me 135 hours so so I'd knocked off like 20 hours straight away. Oh, you should be proud. You're, you're trimming the fat off the edge now. Yeah, and now I'm literally just tro trophy hunting, so I am burning through it. Right. I'm about halfway through the game again already in like 15 hours. What final things do you have to do specifically for achievements? Uh, I mean, I've just got the fishing achievement. Okay. Because fishing in video games. Oh. It's a completely pointless function in that game. Like, if you don't go to the fishing area nothing will change in your life like um there's one i have to, so persona kind of has like a compendium of all the different personas like pokemon style you have to catch them all mm -hmm. 
so I need to get all the personas which but it does ha it does have a system where you can fuse different personas to create new ones so I can just abuse that right okay the only reason I haven't got that I haven't got that is because when you fuse personas they tend to go to a higher level than what they currently are which costs you money Fusing so I'm waiting personas. till I level up a bit more just so to make sure I have the funds okay okay um then i've got like this two like post game bosses i need to take i need to do okay I'm, I'm, I'm... and that's about it i think a few miscellaneous little tasks here and there can be grinded out quite quickly all right so you, do you think it's achievable then oh. oh yeah it's definitely achievable but at the moment i just kind of need to grind through the story to a point where i can actually start knocking these off Oh, it works in kind of a calendar system so there's like certain tasks oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. to read them. every single book in the game right so I just need to keep progressing through the story and reading books at every single possible opportunity to unlock it interesting do you think you'll have it done by the end of this weekend no another weekend falls to Persona I mean if I had the full weekend free I probably could do it but I don't uh... You don't have the full weekend free because we're going out for drinks. We are, and then we've also got a podcast to record. And then we so. have a podcast to record. It's like my, my Saturday is basically completely full. Uh, when, oh crap! I forgot. I forgot yeah. to call it. It's, oh, it doesn't go right. The track doesn't go right. Ride the rail. I like how. Rob's first take on this game is clearly now tutorial and then straight into an eight person competitive online match. Well, that was mine as well. Yeah, true, 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 true. And now I'm in last because I crashed repeatedly. So it doesn't board well then, it would appear. Whoa, nearly flipped. Um, so what's I your wish plan? When you, went, you went off track massively, it wouldn't just cut so you could actually. Like, Trying to reset. Oh, whoa! Up. That is a big hit on that wall. That, that oh. corner. The is one it, where if you accidentally cut it, because you can't see the actual track. Oh. Anyway, you about to ask me something? Uh, I was going to say, what's your plan after Persona? Um, I am actually leaning towards what, getting into the Trails games, because we've got Trails of Cold Steel. You mean trials? <laughs> but, yeah. But I am thinking about that. I've, I was look, looking into it, and um, I think Trails to the Sky is, is like the first one. Okay. And I ten, it turns out I have it in my Steam library. Oh, nice. But the problem is with that is they're quite big games, and they do follow on from each other. So you can't jumping into like number three, which mm -hmm. is what we've got in Pro before, isn't recommended. That's why I've kind of stayed away from it a bit. Okay. Um, you are well, our not, JRPG I'm guy. Not, not oh! Sensible. Yeah, this year has been just JRPGs for me. You loved it. It's the year of the JRPG. Yeah. Oh, Kunai just pit me. Just pit me there. And the ironic thing is, I haven't played a new JRPG this year either. Who's got the time to start another one? Uh, Okay. I was also con contemplating maybe some like Tales of Arise on PlayStation 5. And there's also Shin Megami Tensei 5 is coming out as well on Switch, which um, Persona is a spin off the Shin Megami Tensei series. So you've got plenty to keep you busy then, potentially. Yeah. Okay. Any of the pro games taking your fancy? Um, may I might jump into uh, what do you call it? Saints Row, but I'm not really an open world sandbox guy. I can have fun with them, but they never click for me. Yeah, you never want to commit Even to Even back it. in the day with Grand Theft Auto, I'd like, I'd just spend like an hour or two dicking around, looking for jumps to get on like a on the motorbike. Fingers crossed for the remasters still. I say fingers crossed, I'll still buy it on PS5 if, if they don't come. Uh, is anyone waiting to get in? It's a good question. For me, something like the remaster is very much price dependent. Hmm. 
I agree. If it's like 60 quid, it's, it's a definite no, but if it's like 30, then yeah, I'd consider it. Each shot for the whole collection. Whole collection. Ooh. That's a city ball. I don't know what the unlimited class is. Clear. Well, there's seven out of eight in the lobby, so I don't know if there's one more spot there. Uh, you shouldn't say they'll drop out somewhere. Oh, Kumna said he's going to drop out as well if you wish to. So there's uh, one space at the moment freed up. Uh, Chris, if you want to get in, uh, I've bypassed. Oh, no, I'm back in the lobby part now. Sweet. Uh, if you want a direct invite, just let me know. Confirm your gamer tag for me and I'll send you a direct invite. In the meantime, though, Richie, I want to grab a, another beer back in Uno Momento. No problems. So let us know in chat what uh, your favorite pro game is this month. Um, this is literally the only one I've played. So at the moment, um, Dirt is winning. Right, I have a question. My question okay. pertains to Budweiser and the twist cap right yeah growing up you used to see it on movies all the time americans getting the bud bud lights and stuff twist cap off and as a child it used to baffle me at how they can just pry off the lid of a bottle of beer because in the uk they were all like proper like seal caps and i could never yeah. comprehend how these kids just go there you go cheers ching and it's like how have you just done that without ripping your hand open we now have twist caps in the UK. I've probably had them for some time. I've just not bought, I don't buy a bud that regular. Twist caps still got the jagged edge on them. So trying to get a grip, it still tears your fingers apart. It's not quite as easy as like a bottle of pop. Why? Yeah. Not just pop, no, I'm sure there's some kind of carbonized reason why they don't do it. But yeah, twist caps still got to pop it off with a bottle opener because they're just bad and sharp. Yeah, I just use a bottle opener. Yeah. Well, if you don't have one, though, that's where twist caps are ideal. I mean, there's ways, means, get a tenner out of the bank and you can use one of them. Fold it upright. Oh, yeah, that's that's the old trick. Side, side of a table. Oh, little known fact about you, Richie, you can just open them with your teeth. I can, but I haven't done that in years. Probably, the older we get, it's, I mean, even back then, it was probably, <laughs> it's probably a safe bet to say, let's not do it now. We all want uh, our teeth to last. You run the risk of chipping your teeth and you don't want to do that. So. Certainly do. Uh, right, we've got two spots open, folks. So if you want to jump in and join Helix, Richie, Murdoch, Jin, Chaotic and Rob, also known as Ashley, depending on what mood he's in, um, in the chat, <laughs> in the race, uh, you're welcome to. Uh, Chris, did we get Chris Ashley, in? Ashley's his weekend name. Ashley's his weekend name. Uh, Jin's looking forward to jumping into the wine game yeah 100 days Richie you and Tom are a big fan of check that out, check out my and Tom's stream we, we got drunk um, on, a bottle of wine, on a bottle of wine or two each and, put, and made and bankrupted the vineyard <laughs> like, here's another thing then Richie about bottles of alcohol wine mm -hmm. are, you a, are you just a twist cap kind of guy or do you prefer the cork because the corks are a whole world of pain unto themselves if you do it wrong I feel like a cork is more classy but is it just a ball ache like, let's be honest. Does it really improve the wine that much? Um, I don't know. I, I'm not that into wine that I could go. Oh my god, this wine's on. The, this wine's got a twist cap. Or this wine's been caught. It's like I just go. I like that one. You had your own vineyard, though. You should know this stuff. Did the game teach you nothing of this? I mean, it taught me that the, 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 the were different prices. I think the twist caps would tend to be cheaper. Yeah. But that was on the actual bottling process itself, so I'm sure it's it yeah, I'm sure it's some kind of preservation thing to keep the purity of the wine or whatnot. Uh, it, I guess with a twist cap, you've got nothing to sniff when you take it out. You just look like a weed or yeah. sniffing a bit of metal. Oh. Whereas <laughs> with a cork, yeah, it's like the whole ah ah uh, right. But you do though. You everyone nope. sniffs the cork. Let's know, chat, if you sniff the cork. Do you sniff the cork? Uh, Should we jump in the race then? Uh, just oh, letting Doc back in. back in. Yeah, Doc's just said, 
uh, get us in. Uh, I've also sent a message uh, invite to Dre, who was playing Watch Dogs, and now he's no longer playing Watch Dogs, so he may be joining us in Dirt 5. Now I've sent him a request, so more the merrier. Uh, but yeah, we'll get Doc in and we'll get this race underway. Uh, again, anyone in the chat who does want to get in, just let us know. We'll send you a direct link or click the link in the chat to jump in. We'll do some races, some racing. Uh, I think I'm almost done with Far Cry 6. I'm getting to the end of the... I'm pretty sure I'm getting to the end of the campaign based on how many areas are left to clear out. Yeah. And Are you, are you going for a full clear? Or are you just trying to roll credits? Um, no, I'm going for the for the, the top platinum trophy as per, as per usual. <laughs> there is Dre in the chat. Hello, thanks for the invite. We did. I did see you were playing Watch Dogs, Dre, but you know what? Dead 5, it's a pro game. This is something different. This is something different. This is like... A, what is it? I don't know. It's a Brenthal Industrial Class 1 buggy. Now That's the not... question is, do you, want, do you want it sponsored by AMD or not? Mine's sponsored by AMD, apparently. What yeah, uh, what uh, what GPU does Stadia run off? Is it AMD? Uh, I think it's a custom AMD. Yeah, yeah I thought yeah. so. Oh, well, there you go. Sponsor away, AMD. AMD, AMD tend to do good stuff. Hmm. Cape Town Stadium. Richie, My we're... PC's got an AMD graphics card. We're in the bowl. We're in the bowl. But do we have any soup? Oh, no, we're outside of the bowl. We're not in the bowl. Oh, that was a rough corner. Oh, crap! We're in the parking lot. We're in the parking lot. Yeah, but there was no air. Doc, no. Oh. Is that is that Jin's straight out in front? It is. He rode up on my back. Oh no. Oh. I don't know that. I, I would have thought so. Oh. Off kilter that time. This feels like more of a Mario Kart trap. Probably <laughs> at Wario Stadium. Oh, the car! These cars like to climb on each other's backs. Have you noticed that? They get yeah, like a little jump. They get a little jump know, in them. You the, the, like the car park area. Yeah. I was kind of in front, and like four people went underneath and pushed me into the ceiling. I'm pretty sure I've just lost my MD sponsorship. Oh no! Oh, Murdoch's facing the wrong way. I think that might cause problems. Dirt Five sponsored. Oh, the crowd are committed in this multi-story car park. I'll give them that. There's the two Tussle out for first place. I'm hoping they just cancel each other out. I think it's Doc and Murdoch battling it out for first. I'm just toiling away. Oh, oversteer. Oh no, what's going on with my steering? Oh no, don't do this to me. Not now. I think I simultaneously have an oversteer and understeer. Yeah, that that's my like. steer. I thought my controller messed up like it is prone to doing. I was keeping tabs on these two and now they've pulled right away from me. So much so, I think. I think someone's right behind me. Oh, I hit that corner. I hit that corner. She did surprise me well, even how much I hate the corner. Yo, we need Mario Kart instead. Yeah, I'm actually good <laughs> at Mario Kart. It, uh, you, I'd love to see it, but it, I fear it will never come. Oh, yeah, I, 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 it, it will never come. The only way it would yeah, come is... I'm not was... last! I'm not last! <laughs> of course, the only way it would come if Nintendo literally committed to Stadia being their source for cloud gaming. Which, based on all of their cloud oh, offerings should. so far, they should because the feedback I'm getting from the Guardians of the Galaxy and uh, Control and other ones is like it's okay, but it's not great. 
But part of me thinks that might just be down to like the switch's like Wi-Fi connection I infrastructure. I, yeah, I think it could be. I think it could be a big part to do with that. To be honest, because ultimately, if your if your Wi-Fi receiver and your hardware isn't good enough, yeah. then it doesn't matter how good the internet is coming into the building. Like, it just you're just not going to get the performance out of it. And it's not just about speed as well. It's about Stability, connection, responsiveness. Which is why, in theory, over time, we keep saying about cloud gaming is it should only get better because people's infrastructure is only going to get better. Yeah, and I think I actually think it's one of them. Cloud gaming can be one to force like um, ISPs to actually start producing better hardware by default mm -hmm. because there'd be a bigger demand for it. Where before they've just managed to skate around. And get away with it. Oh, we're finishing off. Richie finishes there. Rob Pipty there, Richie. Let's see who we got. He didn't pip me. He's like 11 sec he's 12 seconds faster. 12 seconds <laughs> faster. Yeah, that's true. That's not. Yeah, what do you define as a pip? I like Smallest fraction. Like <laughs> uh, Dre, a real certified doctor in the house as well. How's it going? Going to get the intro, get an invite. Yeah, certainly. We're rotating people, we're playing games, we're doing races. We'll definitely be able to get you in here. You just complete that tutorial best you can. It was a good, uh, good map, mode, actually. Yeah, I enjoyed that. One. Map, grid, race, track, whatever, whatever we say. You got a reward. Ooh, Mitsubishi yeah. Evo, nice. I got a couple of maps actually. Yeah, so did I for that one. Let's uh, let's get Dre in here as well. Um, right. Invite. Thank you for that. Thank you, Jean. I did see you drop out there. Appreciate it. Uh, Eddie's joined us as well. Welcome, Eddie. Right, Richie. Where in the world? Eddie from Ubisoft, Eddie? Who knows? Who knows? Let's go to Arizona. We've not been to Arizona yet. East Mitten. And let's go. Pre runners. I don't know what a pre runner is. But let's do it's it. What you do. It's what you do before you go for a run. It's a pre runner. You send someone out to go for a run before you just to check it out. What this, what's yeah. this running thing like? Check for rocks and tripping hazards. Starting at three, two. <clears throat> Oof, that is a that's a Ford a Raptor. Well, I've got to go for that. Got to go for the overly it's aggressive quite, paint quite, job. Quite literally, I have to go for it. It's the only one available. Uh, if you pick it, does it not give you another paint job option? It didn't for me, no. Oh, are oh, you gonna love mine? Oh, I can see it in the stream. It's like if Saved by the Bell was a car. This is what it would look like. <laughs> yes. Oh, is this is just, this a, just a, Yeah. Is this NASCAR? Okay, this is going to cause some uh, some problems. Why do I have spare tyres? Who was that? Is that you? You're just going to turn left immediately off the goal. Well, that's what you do in NASCAR. You just turn left. Crash. Got it. I wonder if the car's weight has any uh, any bearing on it. Now this race is almost over already. <laughs> to no surprise. I guess your place on the starting grid kind of determines where you're probably finishing this. I mean, I'm going to come last here for my own. How do you come yeah, last in, on a circle? Well, it was for shenanigans because I crashed into you. That, and also my internet keeps going all over the place. I need to figure out what's going on with my internet, actually, because since I've rotated my office round, my internet's been crap in here. 
So since you've turned 90 I degrees... I don't have an explanation for it, but it's like <laughs> it used to be fine, and now Stadia's being a bit choppy. Well, we all know Wi-Fi works on right angles, so it may just be yeah. something like that. I mean, I wouldn't care. This wall is where my desk used to be against. I'm literally touching the wall. You messed up. You done messed up. Yeah. Right, let's do that race again, only with faster cars. <laughs> More laps. Yeah. So you sabotaged yes, yourself One that lap, time. but we're doing it in Formula 1 cars. I don't think this game has Formula 1 cars. I think that is the one class of car it doesn't actually have, which would be stupid, of course, because they wouldn't work on, like... Could you imagine Formula 1 cars on the, on the quarry level? Like, the low centre of gravity skiing through rocks. I don't think you could drive them. I literally think the, the amount of, like, loose gravel and stuff would just spin off. Just destroy like, the car, could, yeah. I don't think you'd get off the line. Oh, it'd be very difficult. It'd be fun to watch, though. I'd definitely be interested to watch it. Right. Formula 1 cars are notoriously difficult to drive at slow speeds. Because a lot of it works by like the down, it's like an inverted wing. So like the faster you go, the more pressure is put on the car to push it onto the track. That's why they can have look when you look at the tires, they look like almost just like no tr tread at all. Can we just can we just take a moment to appreciate how the race we've just done has a reverse version of the yeah, same let's map. Do reverse, let's do the reverse version. It's just a circle, Codemasters. Yeah, but this time we'll have to turn right. That's such a cop-out. Now, we're going to do a Stampede in Sandstone Valley. And we're going to go with Cross Raid class, whatever that is. And it's going to be Heavy Rain. And let's what else see. are going to put in there to screw me over? Just you. Just you as the driver, Richie. That's what I'm going to put in there. <laughs> yeah, fair. You are the only handicap you need. Oh, look at this bad boy. What is that? What's it's that on the side? It's, got, it's white with red flames. Hot sauce. What's on the side? Hot sauce. <laughs> yeah. It's the Stadia Sauce Mobile. That I cow... That cow has a hat. And uh, one of those birthday blows. Uh, did you notice in the tutorial as well, Richie, the main voiceover guy is Troy Baker once again. I did, actually. On the, po on the, the podcast or whatever just, it is. I played through it just to get through it and, and the bounce and stuff. Where are you going, guys? Where did you go, Richie? I got bullied off the track. You went airborne. Like, I couldn't turn because there was cars. Oh, my bonus got. Bye bye, bonus. I couldn't turn because there was. Oh! Well, this is a mixture of terrain. The crashes I'm witnessing are epic here. Too wide. Can't see the track, can't see the track. Oh! Drift King. Ah, oh, shit. Thanks for that push. Pepsi Cola. Oh, it got dark. It got very dark. The clouds are coming in, Richie. Can't see, can't see. I've got two right up my backside. Air time. Oh, you ramming Ramsteins. It's hard to see the track in this light. Whoa. Ah, oh, Doc. Use me as a buffer. Getting some air, getting some air. Oh, right on the inside. 
Oh no, the sign! Not the sign! And the rock! Damn it, damn it! The barriers are very unforgiving when you crash into them, aren't they? Have you noticed as the, the race has gone on, there's getting more and more puddles in the track? Mm hmm. I appreciate dynamic weather. Oh, he hit a rock! The dock hit a rock! Come on, reel him in. Reel him in. Maybe change to a different reel. Oh no, don't overdo it, Chris. Oh no, where's my driving skills gone? I've done so good and then now I've got into a competitive place. I've seemed to be going all over the place. It's that, that's what gets you. Like when you start trying to be competitive, you start being a bit, probably a little too aggressive. But there's a nice it's rainbow. I can't even see where he's gone now. He's right in front of me and now I've lost him. Look, literally, where has he gone? He's apparently just in front, but... Ah, there he is, over the lip of the crest of the hill. Oh no, the rock! That's the rock that got the dock. Oh no, it's way. I'll take that, I'll take that. We've got Murdoch, first place. Dre coming in second. Helix Cloud in third. The Dock falling up fourth. Chaotic 57 in at fifth. Richie C89. With two do not finish from Eddie and Rob. Good race, that one. I like that map. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. I prefer the, the kind of bulky cat. We should do a tractor one next. A tractor one. Can we remember what class the tractors were? I can't. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Spartadian in the chat. Hello, his crew in the chat. How are you doing? Uh, doing good, thank you, John. Doing Hope good. you're good too. Not driving well, but I'm enjoying myself. Uh, the real certified dock is ready when we can. Brilliant. And Jin says, he recognises that every time he's in first place for a while, he crashes and finishes last. That's Richie stick. Don't you steal Richie stick? That's what he does. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I, I start off in the middle of the park and then crash lots and then that's it. Crash lots. Well, one of my crashes in that one is literally I had two people either side of me and they just funneled me off the track. I was like, I can't do anything. It's just a slow hand over the shoulder. Yeah. See you later. Um, and yes, I used the capture button, so I've got evidence. <laughs> right. Oh. Pepsi Cola. Which one was the... I'm going to try the unlimited class again. Are we sending um, Doc an invite? Um, <coughs> <coughs> After I've finished coughing, I can't do it yet. Uh, certified. Doctor! Sounds like not too bad in this game, actually. I wouldn't know, Richie. Just the way to rub it in. I'm sat here in silence. Why? What's the song? Do we know it? I recognise it. I couldn't tell you the name of it. Can you sing it? No. Can't or won't? Won't. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, technically, I can't sing it. <laughs> technically. Uh, interesting one in the chat Dre says if you go on the in-car view your window gets dirty so it's super nice to play like that I, I feel like that would make it impossible 
windscreen wipers. But people who play been on hell, yeah. people who race in first person are crazy anyway. It, it, quite frankly, it's like people who play with inverted totally controls when they're you, flying. I totally get it if you want the immersion. Look at this beast. Oh, the AMD getting, sponsor. Just loads of notifications here saying the game might stop. The game might, or you might. Uh, I'm no not problem. making excuses here. I am terrible at the game, but. Um... Here we go. Let's make some noise drivers. Ice road truckers. I dropped the AMD branding because I didn't Oh, look at this. Out. New York City. Whoa! This is where it Reverse. all began. Right, quick, quick capture to um, prove it happened. Oh, someone just totally skidded past my ass there. And again. This is getting unplayable. Whoa! Get a Rooney. Oh, that's a low bridge. Watch out. Have you seen how low that bridge was there? Oh, yeah. I'd take your head clean off. This is getting really unplayable now. It's actually it's getting worse as, as the night's going on. It was fine at first. But your internet? Yeah. It was fine at first and the start, just occasionally just like dropping resolution, but being playable. Oh, but that was wide. Very, it's very, very wide. Hmm. See, this is what mine was doing um, a few weeks gone, wasn't it? Yeah. wonder if you've taken turns for parts of the town. Turn then, car. Jeez. I'm not convinced it's the same thing to do with my ISP because I have no bridge. I've seen like I've had a few internet issues as I said earlier in my office mm. recently. I might need to think about my positioning of my router. You got Google Wi-Fi, right? I do. And, and when I got my Google Wi-Fi, I completely oh. sort out all the problems I had for what, for ages. I think it's. I think my issue is like the the Wi-Fi hub spot and thing that's in my office. It's not getting a strong enough signal to like mm. get in router. Oh. But I'm not sure where. I need to figure out where the best place to position the Wi-Fi is. Although the main one, I'm kind of stuck because that's where like the cables coming through the wall. <laughs> You can drill a hole. Okay. I'll help you. I got a drill. Oh shit, no, 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 no. If anyone's listening who built new houses. Oh, you are kidding me. No, 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 house. no, no. Oh shit. What happens? So I was first the whole, the whole way around, whole way around, Richie, just skidding around. I'm probably gonna get a DNF. And for some reason, the last corner spun me out to a point where I was so close to the finish line. I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna try and do it in reverse. And then I got my angles messed up in reverse, as people do, anyone who owns a caravan will know. And then it spun me around again, and the certified doc just literally strolled on by me at the finish line. <sighs> oh. oh, can't believe that. Can't believe that. Don't say good work, Kumna. Don't thank him, Jin. Wow, how not to win a race. <sighs> I 
Ice, ice baby. I was just going to say, Richie. Oh, you came second, but that's just the order in which our friend, our friend list yeah, is there. The arbitrary order of the list. The way, yeah. All right. Damn it. I did like that map. What's this one? Oh, a sprint race. We haven't done a sprint race in a while. Um, modern rally. That's where you play without a car. <laughs> yeah, it's just out your cars, drivers, on your marks, run. Um, is Imagine this... if you had to do like a... Like a pentathlon, but with like driving. But so different. You start off in like a go kart, then you had to go like for a rally stage, and then into like a Formula One circuit. That, I'd watch that. I think that'd be awesome. Like it sounds like Riders Republic. But yeah, yeah I'd watch <laughs> that. Like yeah, do some BMX and then give them a skateboard. Then they're gonna do like a um <laughs> a, a snow l yeah. a luge. But it's just like. A different kind it's like five different kinds of like ra um, racing mm -hmm. and then you see like the winner goes by total time like the quickest total time definitely across the entire thing yeah I mean if you're a good driver you're a good driver right? didn't uh, didn't Fernando Alonso switch over to like NASCAR for one season or something and then he, now he's back in Formula 1 I think yeah just yeah if you can drive a car Kind of like yeah, dodgeball. So paid him a lot of money for one one year. It's like, you know what? what Probably yeah. fancied it. They might just yeah, wanted to go yeah, crash for a change rather than adhering to rules. Oh, it's the same race. Oh, okay. How is it the same race? Oh, no. Is it? Yeah, it's the same I'm race. sure I picked a different track. But I picked sprint. What does sprint mean? Oh, it's a big circle. It's just a big circle. So a sprint's just a big circle, is it? Is that how it goes? I guess so. So a sprint must be the NASCAR stuff. Oh, far too wide, Chris. Far too wide. Oh, close. We're close. Is he going to go for the Scandinavian flick? Oh, pit post to post. Go faster, Skoda. Go faster. Oh, so wide, so wide. Yeah, I messed that up. Oh, we must be so we must be shoulder to shoulder. I can't. I don't. The, I the don't. The entire pack like... is all quite clustered. It's quite nice. Oh no! He's, has he got me? Has he got me? Has he got me? Oh shit! Oh! I don't even know who that was. Eddie, oh Richie, look at that time! You got it. You got it. By what? <laughs> I, I can't even do the maths. Was it like 15, 14 seconds? Fraction? No, point? No, point? No, that's seconds. <laughs> point. Less than a hundredth of a second. Wow. <sighs> Good race, Eddie. That was close. Why do I always go to press uh, the stadium menu for some reason at that point? All right, let's keep let's keep racing. Let's find a better track. I expected that. I like the ones that are just like a straight race. So there's no laps. It's just like first to the bottom of the hill. Yeah. Which is what I thought sprint was. XP. Here we go. Pulled it back around. I'm the ice master. Uh, of course, shout out for the podcast, Rishi. If anyone has any questions for the show, do send them in on our Discord channel. We've got a special... Uh, are they called tabs? Are they called cha channels? Is that the thing? Channels. Channels. We've got a special channel dedicated to podcast questions. So if you've got a burning Stadia question that you would like us to read out and answer and talk about and discuss on the show, jump into the Discord, head over to the channel, podcast questions, yeah. drop it in there. And if you send us a good one, or if we have time for it as well, not just a good one, yeah. if we have time for it, uh, we'll talk about it on the show because if you haven't heard, yeah, might, we might not get as much news. Up, so, yeah, it might end up in the podcast, it might end up being its own side quest. Might if it's good enough, if it's thought provoking enough, it might get its own show. Uh, right, let's go to South Africa, Richie. 
They're very clever with, when they do the reverse stadium, the reverse version of the map, they give it a different thumbnail, so it looks like something different. So I looked at Cape Town, and then I saw Cape Town with two big flat cannons, and I thought, oh, shit, that looks cool. And then I realised it's the same race we've done, just backwards. Yeah. Very clever. That could be on the pentathlon, the reverse race, but instead of like going around the track the wrong way, you have to go around the track backwards. Hmm. Um, we don't rally GT yet. Surely we have. We'll find out. Here we go. So rally GT, Lion said South Africa on the rally raid, and apparently I'm rocking a Vantage V8. Brum brum. With the stupid headlights. With the stupid. Gonzo knows headlights that come out. Third red card in the Tottenham game, I can't come now. Third? Bloody hell. The referees this week in the Champions League are not taking shit from nobody. I kind of like it, you know? So do I. Like, I, I it's about time. I hate, I hate watching the game and see like, players just like getting all arsy up in the ref's face. It's like, mate, you, you fouled someone. Just accept it and walk off. <laughs> like, yeah. The, the sooner they get rugby referee style in the premiership and yeah. wider football world the better just don't take shit if they give this the mouth at you another yellow if they do it again second yellow you're off if, if they did it for like well, just two weeks I, everyone would be like okay we can't mess around I, 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 I know not everyone's a fan of this but I'd say the captain has them should have the responsibility there's a ramp there's a ramp no, I'm not doing I'm it going over it yeah I, I've always felt the captain should have the responsibility for making sure that uh, this is team's disciplined yeah if there's poor discipline in the team, he could be carded. Like, oh, that was it. That's how, that's how it works in rugby. Like, oh, this is quick. This is quick shit. Oh! No, I'm on top of him. I crashed into a tree. Watch out for that tree. I was, I was racing you for first there. You can call what we're doing with racing. Yeah. At one point, I'm pretty sure I was literally oh. carrying you. Yeah, you. I was oh. definitely on top of someone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Watch out for that. I went. I went. To the, I took the left route, and then it was just like a right angle turn. Go on, vantage. Go through the gears. Oh shit! Oh no! No, I've spun off. I've spun there. off. I've spun Who off. Put a tree there. Oh, there is a reset to track button. Is there? It's the three is dots, it? but I don't think I don't think you can do it immediately. Oh, what? Why is my car suddenly wanting to turn right permanently? Oh, lost it. I've lost it. I've lost the lead. Eddie's got the lead. I completely lost it. Like, I, like, ah! And somehow I'm not in last. I think my steering is just like broke. Whoa! Oh no, Doc's overtook me as well. Ah, oh, there goes Paul. There goes Paul. This the right way. Oh, my my car keeps wanting to go right. Whoa! I don't want to go right. I think my control is broke. Okay. Got drift. Not the I, kind of drift I want. I can't get my car facing the right way. Every time I do it, it just seems to just go too far. Mine has a tendency to veer when I'm not asking been, it to veer. I've been in a perpetual state of crash for about two minutes. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! That's a head-on crash. That's. Not even like a cool... How do you have a head-on crash in a race like this? No, like a head-on into the wall crash. Like it wasn't... You oh. didn't, I didn't hit the wall on the side where you get a bit of momentum to go with. Oh, no, the rocks. Oh! That's the wrong button. Oh, shit. Oh, I'm just going to park here. I'm stuck. Oh, you have to hold in to reset. Well, this, this race went from... I did not think you could flip in this in this game, Richie, and yet I did it. Oh wow, what is wrong? This car has no grip at all. I'm actually embarrassed from how far down the rankings I've fell. Give me some concrete. Can we see that black top? I need some kind of grip. Aston Martins are not notorious for rally. Oh there it is. There's the juicy tarmac. And now it comes into its own, and there's the end of the race. <laughs>
That is one messed up Aston Martin V8 Vantage. How I didn't finish wow, last there. I literally hung out in a ditch for like 20 seconds where I was like, I'm done with this race. I'm not getting back. Well done, guys. Well done. Well done, Doc. Well done, Eddie. Poo. Hotly contested. So no Aston Martin will never let me in a car. Get them dirty dollars. If you're going to what are you going to do? Rally. <laughs> Sell it. Sell it and use the cash to pay off my mortgage. <laughs> That's probably what I would do if I won, if I if I won a car like something like an Aston Martin or Ferrari, mm -hmm. like I would literally just sell it and just take the money, and dump it in my mortgage. Yeah. Well, you know, you know, you see those cars that are like plastered in advertisements for like a brand or something, and it yeah. clearly was like it was won in some kind of competition. But the rule is you have to keep the advertisements on it for like at least one year. You know, you yeah. see like the little electric cars driving around town. And you're like, why would you have a car with that? decal on it and it's clearly not by choice because it looks stupid yeah it, the advertisers have paid for this oh let's go so therefore they have to yeah it. but then what you do is you just declare it off the road for like one year take the decals off and no one even know i mean yeah right we're going back to norway richie we've gone to the land of the vikings for the hans right. hans circuit sprint in this yes, yes. In the shovel tractors. Don't see these on farming simulator, do we? I, d I wouldn't be surprised if you did though. It's like an unlockable rally track in the middle of your cornfield. That would be amazing. Amazing. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> Just lack of zero sure reaction. <laughs> Sprint. I don't think you can even call it a car, Doc. <laughs> it's just some kind of tractor shovel hybrid. On ice. How will these work on ice? Surely they shouldn't, right? In theory. We're just talking Aston Martin and Rally Stage, don't ask questions. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Whoa. I actually don't like being at the front when you're starting. Oh, it's a big because ring. Because just, everyone's just gonna crash into you. Whoa. Yeah, these things are like gliders. Oh, mean dread, mean dread. I mean, Drake glider buddies. I went for the outside and then you just smashed into me. Right. Oh, I got a bump. I got a friendly bump. Oh, there's the finish. They're so quick. I guess they're called sprint races, so that makes sense. Well done, everyone. We all finished. Good race. In a WS Auto Racing Titan. Don't did it again. I pressed the button. It's weird that X... If you press X when you're on this menu, does it bring up the stadium menu for you? Oh, no, X. Uh, sorry, no. A. A, sorry. Uh, yes. Hmm. If you if you it's because you're selecting someone, it's so like a friend, up, yeah. Like, if you highlighted me, then it bring up like my menu, so to invite in the game, right? Ah, that's ah right. I'll take those victories. Uh, right, Rich, you think uh, final race? Yeah, one more. One more race. One more race. Is there any tracks we haven't done yet? Uh, yes, there's probably a few. We've dotted around from country to country, so let's have a look. New textures unlocked. Da -da 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 -da. Uh, remember, everyone, if you want to check out some games this weekend, Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Breakpoint has got another free weekend starting today. So today through till Monday, so, I believe. Yeah, I saw that as well. I was tempted to, to switch it out, but then I thought, no, everyone likes racing games. 
Because uh, we tried to do a breakpoint stream before, remember, and into the internet it powers is, yeah. did not allow us to. Ooh. Mamifera Valley. Yeah, that sounds good. Cross raid with clear weather, because it's Italy. You know what, Richie? I'm going to go four laps, just because it's the last race. Oh, getting saucy. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, getting hot saucy. Stadia saucy, some would say. Apparently in the one news and the Stadia games and reviews. News and reviews. I don't know what that line is. And we're back to the stadium build. Oh no, I left the party! Why did I do that? <laughs> what? I thought it was select a car. Can you invite me back into our party, please? Um, I'm not sure I can. Oh, bollocks. Uh, I could have sworn it was letting me pick a car. It's counting down. Oh no. Can I get into your party? I just find Richie. Richie. No, I can chat to Richie. That's all I can do. I can chat. Wow. I've fired you off an invite. I don't know, but it looks like we're about to get into the race. Well, that's a bit of a, a down there. And I did four laps as well, which means it ain't going to be quick. Um, yeah, I'm going to quit out. Oh, that's nice of you. Everyone, well, everyone, qu everyone quit out. Feed, so like... Everyone quit out. Everyone quit out. Right, let's get everyone back in. If we used my feed, Chris, I would have left you behind. Yeah. Us. Chaotic. Let's get everyone back in. It was there. Doc oh, was there. The glitch. Dre was there. The game got angry and kicked me out. Louise the wasn't there. Richie was there. Admiral was there. Was Venomans back? Oh, it's playing grid now. We switched over to grid. My bad. If you go to the chat, then up to the name, you can do more things. If only it was that easy. Or that intuitive, I should say. Right, who are we missing? Just Rob and... I don't think I've joined yet. Ah, you. Rob and you. Of course, the yeah, two. Yeah, when, when I quit out the race, it just went, oh, no. And just kick just, me out no. of the game entirely. Get out the whole game. You... Straight back to the stadium, like the stadium menu. Hmm. Okay. You might not get in here, Richie. There's one place. Oh, there's two places. Scratch that. You are in. I'm in. One place. Well done, guys. Excellent rejoining. If excellent rejoining skills. If we go public party, does that just get us in with more party games? What? Yeah, let's go. There's a party game section. Why did no one in the chat say this? We've been doing standard races all, all night. Well, what a way to end. If I enjoy this, I might stay on a bit longer. So what are we gonna what are we gonna do here? We're waiting for a match. I'm guessing it's gonna pull us all into a match. I assume so. Hey Louise in the chat, thanks for stopping by. For what might be a long way to while it match makes eight other races up. Which it would make me think it can just start with Ah, oh, didn't didn't let it start, Richie. It's just took it took me back to like the online there, like the lobby. Hmm. That's weird. Public. Party games. Surely you can just start a party game. There's eight of us here. Yeah, like Surely there's a handful of people looking for it. Just split us up. Just 4v4, whatever party game you've got in mind. If you're not in the, if you're not in the group and you want to join, boot up the game, go to party games. Go public. You might get chucked in with us. Just one versus eight. Yeah. What kind of party games do we think it might be then? I don't know. Um, hmm. pin, the, pin the tail on the donkey. With cars. <laughs> one car with a massive spike on the front and the other car yeah imagine, I can see it now it's just like a massive poster of a donkey and you have to like hit your other car off the ramp and into the like where the tail would be um musical chairs maybe what's that game where you kind of like you have to sneak up on the guy and then the turn round you could put that do that in cars you could you're totally right right 
Let's go. I'm going to have to watch that back. I want to see what I actually did to suddenly cancel the whole the whole group. Right, I've got in the blue beast. A bit. Like, what did I press from this menu to suddenly... Probably B. Maybe. Yeah, the time remaining icon. Like, I feel like I should be pressing something in this this lobby now. It needs a bigger, like, this game will start. Don't press anything. Chris, explicitly. Here we go. Ultra Cross. Mamifera Valley. Or the Centurion. It's a nice looking track. Mm. Is this the quarry one? Oh, maybe. All right, quarry S Grace. Let's go. More speedies. Power. Oh. Power. Corner. <laughs> oh, that is a hairpin. That is a hairpin. Oh, almost masterfully done if I wasn't budged. Nope, I overdid it. I overcooked it. Bring all the cup to save you. Look at that. Is, that. is that an aqueduct or a viaduct? What do we think? What's the difference? Uh, one's the aqueduct's for water, the viaduct's for things like trains and shit, I think. Oh. The viaduct's for vias. Yep. Yeah. Then you've got the uh, infamous fire duct, which is purely for flame and lava, but it's very rare because it usually falls apart. Because it's not, it's also not a very good way of transporting <laughs> flame and lava. How do you transport your lava? I just put it in my pocket. <laughs> well, we've got fireworks. Very fancy. Ah, oh, not too, too soon. Chaotic's getting a good bit of distance between him and the pack. What do you think of the visuals of this game, Richie? Good um, looking? Yeah, it's decent. Apart from my internet um, going crazy all night. So I'm not getting the best visuals of the game I saw for right now. That's good though. I do like the, the reflectiveness of the cars, the puddles. The smoke kicking up. The crowd looks a bit static, as with most racing games. They don't really... You go past so fast, you don't care. Yeah. Like... Oh, Chaotic, you are tearing it up front, mate. Like, I'm, I'm having a good race here, and I'm no... he's getting well away from me. Damn it, Admiral. Just reverse into me. Here we go. Remember, this is four laps, Richie, so there's plenty to play for. Plenty of time as well. I want to go through that little tunnel. Yay! Are you happy now? I am, yeah. Satisfied. I can come last place now and be satisfied. More races should take. More go sports. Well. Go on. Yay! I mean, yay. More sports should take place in quarries, if you ask me. Yeah. Oh, what a corner that was. It's me, the Admiral, set by Doc, just fighting this out. And when I say fighting, we, are, we do keep <laughs> crashing into each other intentionally. Oh, beautiful, Chris. <laughs> keep it up, keep it up. I'm not going to let you have this one easy, Chaotic. No, sir. Even though you're well out in front. Well, someone else has joined us, joined the party. At this hour? I think, I think, I think it might be Chaotic, neutral. Um, 
number nine behind us. Join the party or overlapping? Oh, that'll be Rob. He changed his name, didn't he? To what? Chaotic, chaotic neutral. neutral. So he's not chaotic 57, he's just chaotic he's neutral. A, yeah, he's not Ashley anymore. Ah, oh, I see. Chaotic neutral. So it doesn't look well. I thought it would, it would have been Alpha Prime or something like that. <laughs> Sounds like a really shit Transformer. Yeah. Alpha Prime. <laughs> Oh, what happened? Oh, he's there. Every time I do a hairpin, I see him on the opposite side of the track. But you know, by the time you've done that and following corner, they're just so far away. Yeah. Yeah, because they've slowed down massively for the hairpin. Yeah. Oh, can't it's like, oh, he's right corner. there. I can literally wave at him as I go around the corner. And then by the time you've completed it, they're like two miles away. I do like this track, actually. I like the... I think I keep, I keep seeing you like, like a corner or two ahead. And they got distracted and crashed. <laughs> and then I literally lost a position as well. But oh, dear. Was, uh, the battle was over. Like, the Admiral was kind of, kind of won out. But it wasn't that yeah. far ahead. Yeah. Um, and then I was next. And then it was set by Doc. But my crash caused set by Doc to take over. Well, it's been a good race, folks. Good race. And this one, I'm not skidding out in the last corner, but I'll take that. Helix Cloud Zoomy in for second. Da da da. Come on, let's get this. Let's get this. Um, who have we got? So, Chaotic, well done. And there's Lafitte, yes. G Tech, X Road. I Helix, shit, Doc, I Dre, sick for that. <laughs> the Admiral, Richie, Sapphire Doc, and Chaotic Nuchal, DFN. DNF, 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 DNF. Did you not finish? No. That's partially to because Chaotic 57 is so good. Yeah. It shouldn't trigger on first place, right? I guess it has to for online reasons, I get it, but it, it should give a bit more leeway on when you're all friends. Like, I'm quite happy yeah. to just sit and wait for everybody to finish. That should, should be a, be a settings timer, option. It'd be like a minute or something. Everyone can, can vote. A minute. As soon as you finish the race, you can vote to end the race. Yeah. Then if you don't no, get... I'd, I'd just say a minute. So you got 60 seconds after the first pass. Because that is a substantial amount of time in the racing game. True. That is true. Um, right, folks. I, I was going to say that's it, but Louise is in the chat. And he's just joined us. He said, if there is some space, drop me an invite. So, Richie, are you one happy? To... Yeah. Let's go one more. Where are we at? Louise, let's get you let's get your invited in here. So everyone, put the brakes on, leaving the party. Everyone's just about to jump out there. Uh, we're going to do one more race just for Louise jumping in now. Uh, I don't think you need to leave, Doc. I think we're good. We've got seven out of eight in now. What one more space for the first person who jumps in? One more space. One more space for one more race. Dead five, dead five. Just seeing who's playing dead fives. Dre's gone back to watch dogs. Thanks for stopping by, Dre. Enjoy your game. How are you finding Watch Dogs Legion? I didn't enjoy it as much. I got the platinum trophy for it, but it was painful. It was painful. See, I have to really enjoy your game to go for the platinum. Mm, yeah, I don't. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I just need to enjoy it enough to, by the time I finish the campaign, I'm kind of like, all right, I'm not far off. Yeah, I, I just, for me, I find myself with Ubisoft games, I'll enjoy it, but once I'm roll credits, like, okay, I'm done, I'm done with that. I'm done. Right, I don't know what this one is. Super light. Clear. Should we crank up uh, the speed for the last race? Yeah. 
Do you as want two as fire as high as it goes? Right, speed is up by 60. God. <laughs> there is four laps. It's um, heavy rain. And a super light super, car. And it's super light well. car. Let's Gentlemen, go. get ready for the chaos. <laughs> Here we go. Morocco is not going to know what hit it. It also helps if I go start event. Now it said speed multiplier, Sam. Um, does that mean it just cranks up everybody's speed? In, I'm in, guessing so. Oh, in an in a turquoise dune buggy as well. The, it's an oh, it's an aerial atom. Didn't realise. Oh, it's an aerial nomad, I should say. The aerial atom, famous Jeremy Clarkson making his entire face <laughs> get sucked yeah. back because of the G force. <laughs> uh, that was funny. I thought my tire had like holes in it there, but I think it's the edge of the kind of wheel arch. Here we go. Yeah. Asif, Tifnout, Landrush in Morocco. Right, I'm aiming for first. <laughs> this could just be absolute chaos at 60 speed. Uh, Lars in the chat, no problem, Lars. Thanks for stopping by. You ready to witness some chaos if this is going to plan? So far, it doesn't feel too yeah, bad. Yeah, I expect everyone to like blast off the line. But we had to hit a corner yet. We had to hit a corner. Oh! I mean, it does seem faster, but I don't know if it's just it like. Feels, not 60 times faster. Yeah, there's something about the camera movement which. Whoa, oh, what is that? Oh. Okay. I spun out a bit too much there. Puddle. Oh, I don't think I'm good with water. I'm good with more surfaces, but when it comes to water, I just mess up, just like that. I don't think Admiral. I'm good with cars. <laughs> Full stop. How did, I lost my bonnet. How did you lose your bonnet in a car that doesn't even have one? <laughs> You're going that fast. It fabricated into the car into a bonnet. I've got, it's got to be honest. Continue. Slightly disappointed with the 60, 60 multiplier. Yeah, I thought it was going to be more shenanigans than this. Oh, you get some airtime though. Shit! <laughs> that's maybe that's what it's all about. Airtime. Let me know when you get to the ramp, Richie. I'm about to get to it now. Right, tell me how much airtime you get. Like, you just keep going up. <laughs> oh, well, I, I briefly got in the first place. And then... Skid it out. Come on, car. Come on, Adam. Nomad. Oh, set the fire dock. Oh, he's flipped. What is happening? <laughs> I don't know what just happened, but that was funny. Grind in the grail. Or grind in the rail, in fact. Oh, it's just getting wet out here. Oh, sun shower. Oh, I've been clipped. Oh, this is brutal. Come on, I come am on. literally miles behind. It's so slippy. Oh, why did I turn there? Put myself off. Everyone else turned left, so I turned left, and it was too early for me. Oh, almost too far. Oh, it was too far. Admiral's got me. Well done, Dave. Air time! Oh, straight into the wall. Some quality driving on display, folks. Everyone's. And also, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> comic relief, Richie. Everyone needs comic relief. Oh, it's got dark and everyone's lights are turned on. And dynamic weather's great. 
Oh no! Bit more time. Oh, I just need. To... I just need them two to take each other out. The rain in the dark, the, the graphics for the rain is great. Really impressed. Oh no! Oh, I thought I was just about to catch them then. Right, bad luck, here we go. This is absolute water planning out here. It's so deep, the water's getting so deep. No, Admiral, don't do it. Oh, there's another person, another player's entered the race. I didn't even realize there was someone behind me. Certified Doc. Airtime. Oh, just that. How has he got so much speed on me out of nowhere? How long has Certified Doc been up my ass? Without a glove. That's how he likes us. <laughs> that might be his profession. Oh, the time is just the time of the day. So it makes the weather effects more erratic. Oh, so time 60 is why we're in the middle of a monsoon right now. Yeah, it's why we started off in the day and now it's like oh, night. Oh, right. Because like daylight savings on steroids. You know what? The rain is actually making the game look even more gorgeous. Like, this nighttime racing is way much more fun. Although, I don't know if just the dune buggy is just like. Oh, it's not even the dune buggy, is it? It's like an aerial nomad. I feel like they're just cool. They're just so much cooler yeah. to handle. Yeah, it's a dune buggy. Oh, come on, I just need to catch up with Dave just that little bit, that little bit. Oh, Dave almost tripped me. Oh, we're in, the, we're in the sea, we're in the river. I've got no speed. Oh. You must be almost finished your fourth lap now, uh, yeah. Yeah. Just trying to catch Dave before this final bit. Got a certified dock behind me still. Oh, there's the airtime. Oh, splash down into a puddle. Let me know when you finish. Oh, oh it's so dark. The river section's basically impossible to drive through. Yes, like it just turns into a swamp, doesn't it? Yeah. Or a river, in fact. Not, I think I might have overdone it there. I think the dock might have me. Have I messed up? Oh, shit. Oh, I just about saved my ass. That is right behind me. And finished. Whew. With 13 right, seconds guys, to spare. I want to see the DNFs in the chat for me. <laughs> DNF. DNF. That's only you. Bless you. DNF in the chat for Richie, everyone. DNF. Well, uh, that was great. That was like a fantastic showcase for the game at the end there. I thought the, the racing from everyone all the way through from like, <laughs> sorry, Richie, fifth through to second place was yeah. in a, it was in a battle. First place ran away with it, of course. Um, but yeah, the, the drive, the steering, the weather dynamics changing. Looks gorgeous at night. This this AI, this little NPC is hand popping up. Terribly rendered, no textures at all. But the games within the race, beautiful. Uh, thank you to everybody, of course, who did finish the race and has joined us tonight for our live stream. Technically our first look at Dirt 5 right here 
on Google Stadia. Uh, thank you everyone who's tuned in, who's raced, who's taken part, who's watched along uh, at home, at work, on your phone, on your tablet, wherever you may consume our content. If you haven't done so already, do give the video a like. It does help us and other Stadia people find our content. It helps out with the algorithm, so we do appreciate it. Share it, tag us in it, retweet it on Twitter. Uh, we are Richie, only 10 followers away from 1,000 followers over on Twitter, which we don't talk about that often, but yeah, we're sh just shot yeah. 1K. So if you share us, Help us tweet out. Yeah. Let, let's get to that magic, magic 1K mark so maybe before if, the weekend. So what you're saying is if everyone in the chat right now, either if they're not um, following us, followed us, or created a second account to follow us, we'd break that mark. Yeah, just take time out your day to set up a second Twitter account just to follow us. Uh, but no, everyone who follows us, we do appreciate you all. But yes, share, tag, like, comment, retweet, post, do what you need to do. Help it. Get us out there. Follow us on Facebook even if you want to as well. We do have a Facebook channel if you don't use that classic ancient social media. Uh, Richie, SideQuest goes live tomorrow on free feeds. Remind the lovely people yep. what we spoke about, what we discussed on this week's episode. So on this week, we're doing a roundup of Sadie's unique features. So we're talking about things like Stream Connect, State Share, Crowd Choice, all the things like that. And going through them, going what we like about them, what could be done better. And yeah. Check it out. And remember, if you are a member of the channel, like so many of you people are, you get that six days early. You get a lovely little badge next to your name in the chat, a little Stadia controller. You get access to the super stickers as well. And obviously, you get Richie and my and Tom's eternal love and cherishment. But yeah. that has been it for our Thursday night live stream. Have a great weekend, everyone. Safe racing out there. And remember not to get too dirty. My name's been Chris. And I've been in last place. <laughs> Where you belong. <laughs> We've been here at Cloud Games. See you for the podcast. Take care, everyone. Goodbye. Bye.